All right, welcome back to another episode of our Guild of One playthrough of Nightfall. And I talked about it in previous episodes, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, we finished off last episode completing the first Nightfall main mission of the main uh, mission line, the Consulate Docks. But rather than keep going with my mesmer, I want to showcase the kind of pre the, uh, the the starting area of Nightfall. I think it's there's too much content there just to skip it. So I'm gonna make a brand new Nightfall character to show the beginning of Nightfall up to the consulate docks where I did. So in order to do that, I need to make a new character. And I'm going to play a Dervish, and this will be pretty cool because I've actually never played the Dervish much. Uh, I tried it out, of course, here and there, but I never, it never, it was never a profession that stuck with me. Um, I, I'm not sure why. I think, if I'm being honest, I didn't like the look of the armor. <laughs> but now that I'm a little more mature, that kind of stuff doesn't bother me so much. Uh, we're going to give it an honest, an honest, uh, try the dervish i always i always preferred the the paragon to the dervish whenever nightfall came out we're gonna we're gonna start him off i already thought of a name to give him hopefully this works yes another elden ring inspired uh name but yeah we're gonna start out with a nightfall character here's the opening cutscene. Protected by its champions, the Order of the Sun Spears. A shadow now falls upon this land. The shadow of an ancient and forgotten darkness. Night falls. The time of the five gods at an end. Nice view there. Oh, so we start it's off with a hero. Of course. Uh -huh. Didn't realize it's that. Good to see both of you. You have arrived just in time. Nothing that we can't handle, I hope. I have received word that Corsairs have been spotted off our coast. Your skills and leadership will be needed. Love the Nightfall's voice acting. I mentioned it before, Nightfall's voice acting is much better. Okay, here at the starting tutorial, it looks like we can talk to Cormier or Koss. I could do the tutorial. I think I'm going to skip it because the, the tutorial goes through like really basic information like the movement keys, opening inventory. We do not need to do that. Um, I want to get to the good stuff. I'm going to skip this. Koss joins our party right away. We get some skills. It's just even even if you're brand new to yeah even if you're brand new to guild wars i think you can just immediately jump into the tutorial or uh skipping the tutorial we get costs very cool character or junk through these shallow oh red reaper take point cost and i will back you up okay Take the shortcut. Yep, yeah, we decided to skip. Yeah, I think now that I'm looking at it, the, the armor is not that bad. I just, I think I just didn't like the fact that all the dervishes, the armor basically looks the same, like except for these little ornaments on it. It's just like a big blanket over your character. And Guild Wars, you know, you want to look cool in this game. I like the attack animations of the scythe. That's very cool. And look at these skills. I didn't look at them. Um, we got vital boon enchantment. Dervishes use tons of enchantments. This is our healing skill. 
gives you maximum health and heals when it ends. And then Pious Assault removes an enchantment to do extra damage and recharge faster. That's cool. So we can kind of decide when we want to activate our enchantments, when we want to remove our enchantments. And it does some kind of effect there. Cormier ordered me to guard this gate against Corsair attacks. No offense to Corsair, I'll get through your history. All right. We finished the tutorial. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, this is the first mission. Already another cutscene. Here we go. We are too late. The Corsairs have reached the village before us. There are a lot of them. No, there are only two Corsair ships and three of us. We outnumber them. The Corsairs are already in the town. Where are the defenses? Show me your leadership ability. Defeat these Corsairs. We will do our best. You lead them. I will follow. Alright, yeah, Nightfall. I feel like there's not a, a whole lot of hand holding, but it could be a little overwhelming for new characters, especially because you start out with. Heroes. I think we officially get costs here when we turn in this quest. Yeah, cost joins the party. 2,000 experience. That's crazy. So it's a little bit faster paced than pre-searing in um in in prophecy. Cost is a large muscle. Turn in with the prime of in the prime of his life. Sun's spirit can attain anything. A swaggering, also arrogant feature. Uses charm, imposing physical nature, and flexible morals. Flexible morals to build up a large networks of contacts. So he is like the main hero character in Nightfall. Definitely main character uh, potential. It's a very, very well developed, thought out character in my opinion, lore wise. We got our level two, so let's put it in Scythe, and we're using Earth Magic. So we'll do. What does Mysticism do again? Each rank of Mysticism reduces the cost of your Dervish enchantments by four percent. And you have one extra armor per rank of mysticism while you're enchanted. That's pretty nice. So we'll just kind of have an even distribution of scythe, earth, and mysticism here. That's nice. And then we have another quest. What is this? Quiz the recruits. Go speak to them, rile them up. Just a little extra experience, I guess. Like another, pl a new player. Look at that. That's pretty cool. The Sun Spear you never fight alone. Forming your party is an important element of being an effective soldier. So this is this is like a way of doing a quest and giving you some information about using uh, gripping a he hero. Go ahead and add costs. Also, oh, you're using a type of weapon, health, how to level up. A little bit of tutorial stuff here. And then recruits yeah, and more information of attributes if you're interested in that i feel like we've already covered all that information in all of the other episodes that i've done but i need to do the mission now so let's grab some henchmen a healer and paragon sweet first mission here we go oh wait 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 what's this guy Did you ever need their service for free to add? Okay, this is just... You get experience for adding a henchman. Okay, easy experience. Look at that. Now we're ready. Sweet. Chabak Village. So these are going to be really short missions. I talked about it before. The Nightfall goes back to using bonus objectives. But... Uh, the bonus objectives in Nightfall missions are usually parallel to the main object, the main mission objective. So they're pretty, they're generally easier to get the bonus, I think, in Nightfall compared to factions and prophecies, or at least prophecies. Some of the faction bonuses are really easy. Cormier's level twenty, so this is this should be a walk in the park. Honestly, you don't even really need. It might be better not to bring henchmen because Cormier can just solo everything in this and get more experience that way. 
We'll go ahead and bring it. Hey, look. I don't even really need to do anything. You even get three extra sun spears to go around. Don't even get to don't even get to attack. <laughs> That's funny. We probably don't it's better not to bring any any henchmen here. Pretty good damage from my skill there. 13 extra damage. And Scythe is cool because it does natural AoE damage to surrounding enemies. Kind of a superior weapon to... At least at least a damage output wise, it's... It's... Uh, the Dervish is kind of superior to the... Um, warrior. But Warrior is just so much cooler. It's like... You want to be cool? melee character play a warrior if you want to be a high damaging nuker aoe melee character you play dervish boss is just taking out guys by himself so we use these oils we launched them at the ship we already took out one ship didn't i oh i didn't launch it yet i can do it now and then what's the bonus bonus is keep as many sun spear recruits as live as possible so i need to keep them alive that's it go how come this one didn't sink there we go all right looks like i sunk both of them And once we take out this last group, that's the first mission. I'm going to try and do at least a couple missions and objectives in these episodes. I, I do want to go back to playing as my Mesmer. So I'll, I'm not going to rush through this time, but I'm not going to drag it out with many, many episodes. Anyway. Here's another cutscene. Yes! Take that, you Corsair dogs! And don't come back! You've done well. You can count on me. On us, I mean. On both of us. These Corsair raids have gotten worse of late. They have. It is a matter of concern for the Sun Spears. Continue your training. We shall speak again of this at the Sun Spear Great Hall. Of course. Poor Mir is kind of shredded with her armor there. Got those built-in abs. <laughs> yeah, so we get, yeah, you know, about 2,000 experience just for doing the first mission. And we're level 3 already. I'm going to keep pumping Scythe and Earth. You set up a temporary encampment. Would you like to go speak to an expert dervish? Sure. Oh, yeah. I need to think about what secondary is good for dervish. Maybe necromancer would be good. Ranger is always fun. Warrior is good for, with, to add some stances. Probably go, I'll probably go warrior secondary. Use like sprint. So I can test out. So this is, if I attack this target, this adjacent to foe should take damage. Yep. That's pretty sweet. So this is adjacent to foe. What is this adjacent? Why is this called adjacent? Hmm. Oh, this gives you the idea of the, the adjectives in the skill descriptions. If I stand in the center here, that's adjacent to foe. This is adjacent to me, I see. This is adjacent to me. That's a... Adjacent is a lot bigger circle than I thought. I thought adjacent was like this close. But it's this close. Interesting. Um, And then after that is nearby. And then in the area is the biggest circle. That is actually a massive area. 
Good to know. Talk to our expert dervishes. We can get some extra skills now. Uh, no, 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 no. You want to learn? Sure. So we get scythe. Two new scythe attacks. Killing victory. If it hits, it's adrenaline. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize there were adrenaline scythe attacks. I thought it was always energy. For each foe hit who has less health than you, that foe and all adjacent foes are struck for 14 cold damage. Which should be easy to get if you're using Vital Boon, because this gives you extra health. So you should be able to do that extra damage as long as you maintain Vital Boon. If this attack hits a foe, that foe is crippled for 5 seconds. This skill deals 5 extra damage. Now, does this... Let me test that out really quick. If I use... I still brought my henchman. <laughs> if I use Crippling Sweep, does it cripple both of these guys? Yeah, it crippled both. So it's like an AoE cripple as long as they're adjacent to each other. Very cool. Alright, guys, cut it out. And then what do we get here? Um, flash enchantments, tear down skills. What are flash enchantments again? Special type of skill enchantment that has no casting time. It can be cast while moving. Ooh, that's cool. However, flash enchantments disable your other flash enchantments for a short duration every time you cast one. What does that mean? They cancel each other out? So here's a flash enchantment. Here's a flash enchantment. So let's test that out. Whirling charge. For one second, you move 33% faster. The next time you strike a foe, all other nearby foes take 10 cold damage. So if I use that... I don't understand. They didn't cancel each other. Huh? What did that mean? Flash enchantments. However, flash enchantments disable your other flash enchantments for a short duration. Ah, so you can't just be like, boom. Ah, I see. There's that, there's that disable. So you can't just like, they're not like shouts where you can just click, click, click. That's not a big disadvantage though. All right, um, whirling charge, cold damage. All near enemies take cold damage. Heart of Holy Flame, uh, for 30 seconds afterwards, or all nearby foes take seven. For 30 seconds afterwards, your attacks deal holy damage. When this ends, they're set on fire. That's an awesome one. And then the last one, Grin's Fingers. Same idea, but cold damage. And when it ends, you transfer one condition to nearby foes. That's pretty sweet too. Wow, the dervish skills are really cool. But that that energy cost 10 energy. All right. We got our we got our expert dervish skills. We got a full skill bar at level 3. Much faster than in prophecies. In prophecies it took a while to get a full skill bar, I remember. And in pre-searing, if you want a skill full skill bar, you pretty much have to you don't get a full full skill bar until you get a secondary um profession. We already got every... We got Wind Prayer. We got Mysticism, Scythe, Earth. We got all the attribute skills. I think I'm going to stick with Earth. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Earth. So I'll get rid of these Wind Prayers. Whirling Charge and Grinch Fingers. Imbue Health. Target other ally is healed for 8% of your current health. Whoa, so we got like a healing skill. I'll bring that. And then... Yeah, so this is this is the first time this happened. Not the first time. In The, the first time they put these like roadblocks into the, into the storyline was in factions with the uh, collecting Kurzik faction or Luxon faction. Now we see that a lot more often in Nightfall. They make it where you have to get a certain level or you have to get a certain rank in Sunspear. And I don't I I honestly don't know how I feel about that. I kind of liked how in in um prophecies you could pretty much move as fast or slowly as you wanted. In this one they really forced you to take your time by putting in these roadblocks. So on one hand, it ensures that players are going through uh more of the content that they painstakingly 
taken span a little painstakingly created but on the other hand it kind of you know it's kind of a drag if you're if you're like wanting to go a, a, a specific pace you want to you can't really go at your own pace you have to go at the game's pace also uh, these are some standard newbie quests getting things like belt pouches killing enemies collecting body parts really creepy how games have these starting quests and you just have to collect body parts of enemies that you, that you kill uh it's pretty funny and here's the here's one of the main reasons why Kamadan is the capital of guild wars is um we're level three we just created it and we're already in the first major capital city in 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 prophecies you have to go through pre-searing to get to the first capital city in factions you have to go through Xingjie island to get to the first capital city and then nightfall boom you're right here so that's that's kind of why you see lots of players right away here so i recommended before if you're new to guild wars probably starting with nightfall is the best is the best way to have fun because you get to see other players right away just pick these up collecting some quests getting some materials you get some newbie web uh items like expert salvage kit very cool pick all these up escort mission yeah and you can get some um materials to make some armor so if we talk to him to get armor very low requirements looks like we already have a tanned hide so i can get us a hood let's go ahead and get scythe because we're going to be using scythe all the time boom immediate power spike <laughs> scythe plus one we have four level four in scythe already there we go so, the, so yeah, my primary my primary quest is just to get to level five. So after doing some or all of these quests, we should be level five. Just go down the list. Another quest here. I'm not necessarily gonna do all of these, but I'm gonna do some of them. identification kit yeah uh i kind of like using a monk and paragon i think i'm gonna get rid of the no actually paragon has some bo buffs for us we'll keep the paragon i was thinking about doing paragon or the earth we can get okay we need to be level 20 to get mocks about to say is like if we get a level 20 here right off the bat that's a little bit overpowered isn't it bounty so this is another way to get a lot of experience you just get a bounty you get double experience from enemies from this specific enemy and you get extra promotion points so always pick up what about if i kneel here always pick up the bounty yeah we can get a we can get a buff too all your generation oh yeah dervish let's get oh i don't use wind magic i could and armor monk attributes let's just do the let's just do all your generation 50 gold though that's pretty special that's pretty pricey but it lasts for 20 minutes so it's pretty good we'll make it up in these quests yeah and um this is nightfall introduced consumables so these consumables can increase your stats in battle i don't think there were any consumables i might be wrong but i don't think there were many consumables in factions and if there are, I think they were added after Nightfall. Correct me if I'm wrong. But consumables are pretty cool. 
they even liked it so much they made consumables a big a huge part of guild wars 2. what are we doing armor transport infinity thief material girl let's do the armor transport i guess first So because all the dervish yeah, you know, because all of the dervish skills do something whenever they're deactivated, let me think about my attack order. Do something something like this. Okay. Oh, we want to kill as many plants as possible for this extra extra bonus. Fear. What's it where's he going? You just we're supposed to be escorting, you just sprinting off in the distance. If I can get Killing victory off, that's a huge damage spike. Huh. I wanna see I wanna see some numbers. AoE numbers against these guys. Whoa, that's huge. I think there's a boss. The first boss is over here. Oh, I need to protect Dango. Yeah, he's under attack already. No. He's level 10. He should be able to handle himself, no? They're level 1. Yeah, he's just taking him out. There's no problem. What's he using? He's using a hammer. Just smash them with a the hammer. There we go. Yeah, again, after doing these quests, we should be level 5. And especially after fighting these enemies. I need to be careful of energy. Energy management for a dervish seems a little bit difficult because everything is like 10 energy. Definitely getting like a, a zealous, a zealous um, scythe is probably mandatory for a dervish for energy management. These Fang Dai Boga is showing the showing the power of movement speed decrease. That's really a pain. Casting that on us. Right. So I don't wanna I since I have this blessing, I don't wanna go into this Sun Spear capital yet. What I want to do is pick up another bounty. So you can have as many bounties as you want. So now any insect and any plant we kill gives us extra experience and bonus. So now is a good idea to fight these guys. If I were to fight them before I got the bounty, I wouldn't get any any extra bonus. Now let's see the AoE power of Dervish here. Oh, they're not really doing anything. Where they don't attack. Let me get them close to each other. Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, there's some damage. And they're all set on fire. 
That's some good damage. And I think holy damage is... I think it goes through physical armor and elemental. It's not... It's, it, it's kind of like chaos damage, isn't it? Chaos, dark, and holy are the three armor penetrating damage types, I believe. So heart of holy flame is pretty good to keep up for a while. be nice using this skill and this skill crippling sweep and heart of the holy fame that would be good to put on a dervish in the um fragility mesmer build support so yeah you want to be going through already halfway up to level four you just clear out these guys Don't really know the good skill rotation for Dervish. Here's our first boss. You can get that. Oh, it hurts. That's pain. <laughs> Level five. Wow. So this test, I'm doing five damage on average whenever i use heart of holy flame it should no still five damage no damage increase there what's healing so much oh so whirling charge is all other nearby foes so i should use it against these guys He's whirling charge and boom look at that damage explosion oh. almost getting close to 75% uh, uh, progress to level 4 I like the dervish it's a little bit more a little bit change of pace from the mesmer i'm just so used to mesmer though it feels really strange running up to the enemies like this and the numbers are so low from what we're used to mesmer damage is just cannot be compared What other quests can we do? I guess I didn't complete that yet. We can go... That one we just need to fast travel. This one we need to check Pele, check on Pele. We'll do that real quick. Juvenile legs. We haven't found any of those yet. And this one we gotta deliver this steel. So let's get some termite legs. And then oh, I should have talked to that person first. I need to kill 10 killer iboga. Always talk to everyone first. We should still get it. There's plenty of iboga out here. Yeah, I think we're going to hit level 5 off of all, all of these. How much experience? 500 experience, 5, 1,500. That one's harder to complete though. 250. Looking at like 3,000 experience. Yeah, we should hit, we should be able to hit level 5.
and get another bounty here. But I bet you it's not anything new because I think there's only plants and bugs out here. Yeah, we already have the bounty. Wow, Chilling Victory is a lot of damage. Is it keeping track of how many I kill? Usually the number goes down, doesn't it? I already lost track. Okay, it's giving me a bait there. Haven't noticed any Paragon. What is the Paragon doing? Fear of Lightning. Yeah, I probably should have brought the Earth. Wait, we finished that one. Let's fight these guys and then we'll head back. What weapon is Koss using? What skills is Koss using? <laughs> Didn't even check. He's using power attack, sever artery, and final thrust. He's most likely... This is a wasted skill because the enemies are going to be dead before he hits 10 adrenaline. But it is a pretty massive skill increase. And I need to put some stuff in here. That. Go. Healing signet, of course. And he's using a two to three damage. Can I give him that? Oh, it'd be cool if we can give him that sword. Could make him an axe, but I don't have any axe skills, so. We'll leave him as sword. And he's set to avoid combat still. <laughs> uh I was like, why it wasn't even noticed that he wasn't even attacking. Oh, that'll speed things up. Oh my gosh. Set him to aggressive. Make up for the fact that he hasn't been doing anything. See, that's something to get used to in Nightfall is hero management. <laughs> that's too funny. People watching this probably screaming at the computer. He set the passive, you idiot. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I'm gonna have to put it in the comment at about 35 minutes in. <laughs> I, I set cost to attack mode. I think there's a boss over here, right? Yeah. Ooh, a new scythe. Looks cool. Matches my uh, red scythe aesthetic, but I can't tell the upgrade because it's unidentified. Do you get? Yeah, I don't think you get the upgraded um, benefit or the the uh, yeah the upgrade benefit until you identify it though, right? Is it like Baldur's Gate where you get the? I don't think so. I think you have to identify it to get the bonus. All right. Yep. Stay together, guys. Very nice. Oh, I wasted my adrenaline on that. Oof. Wow, look at that damage. Wow, Dervish does huge damage. Very nice. He's level 6, so... Uh... I need to be careful. He most likely has more health early on. So Chilling Victory is better to use towards the end of the fight. Like, uh, kind of like Final Thrust. It's like the Final Thrust version for the Dervish, except six adrenaline. It's 
much better. I don't see Final Thrust has no business being ten adrenaline. That's that's crazy to me. And you lose all adrenaline after using it. That's yeah, that's a crazy skill. I remember loving Final Thrust when I first played the game. I just thought it was a cool sever artery gash Final Thrust. Like, it was a really good combo to use gash and then Final Thrust. But at 10 adrenaline, that's craziness. But I get two. I need one more termite leg. Termites. No. Might be best to solo to go through here solo so you can get more drops. Higher chance of getting the termite leg plus it's higher experience. Honestly, I don't think it's necessary to bring this guy, Sogolon. Level three, he doesn't have any any auras or chance at all. Okay, let's go back. We can do armor. Tra we can complete armor transport. We can complete material girl. Quality of steel and then map travel. Go in here. Uba. We gotta go back to Kamadon to get complete that. And then what else can we do? Talk to this guy. And we already we already unlocked our attribute quest, but we need to get Master Sergeant level, which is quite a ways away. Met Su Sunspear Sergeant, so you will earn Sunspear Master Sergeant. Once you hit a hundred. Oh, it's not that far away. Only need 20 more points and we get 15 extra attribute points. That's crazy. Rebirth Signet. So that's better than Resurrection Signet. And more quests here. Probably don't need to do all of them, but I'm going to go and pick them up. I have a Battle Commendation. Corsairs. So, oh, another one. Drop my sword in the fields. All right, missing sword. And this guy's collecting sentient seeds, so you can get it. You can get your bags here. I have none. All right, let's drop Sogolon. Let's go three man. We should get more experience and drops. Is there another quest over here? Feels like there's should be one more quest around here. Here we go. Sharom. Patrol, Elon Bell. Don't worry. There are tons of quests here. Just like with factions, if you rush through here too much, you could find yourself low level too low level in some of these areas. The difficulty is going to ramp up in these quests really quickly. Um, let's do hidden threat that's close by. Any of these stuff that's far away you can turn that in. Let's have courage. Let's do this one. Mm. Don't forget, whenever you, every time you come back to the area, you need to talk to Sunspear Scout to get the blessing again, or the um, the bounty again. I like squishing bugs. All right, we should be able to get a leg from these termites. Oh, I don't want to fight any plants right now because it's kind of a waste of not getting any sun spear points. Is it termite? 
Come on, leg. Give me that leg. No. <laughs> Reap. Reap, you dervish. Here's a bunch of Corsairs. What level are they? Three, four. Should be okay. Now I'm kind of wishing we had one more henchman, but let's just let's just be careful. We have Puba with us, who's level 15. Oh, we're fine. That damage is crazy. At level four, just totally nuking these guys. It's insanity. Cost is level four. Keep pumping his swordsman up. Swordsmanship. All right, we need to keep him alive. Oh, he's as soon as I picked it up, he stops fighting. I shouldn't have picked it up yet. Okay, though. Suddenly he's level 10. I thought he was level 15. Weird. Good hits. Oh, nine more points to get Master Sergeant. Let's try and get some termite legs. One more leg. Come on, come on. This is it. Praying lands. That's level eight. It's good experience. And it's a bug, so we'll get double experience from it. Bugs in Alona are just massive. Hundred and twelve XP from that. Okay, let's let's go. All right, need two more points still for that. Let's go talk to Material Girl. Turn that in. We're gonna warp the Commandant. Turn those in, and it should be close to level five. Oh, come on. Really need to find one more leg. Sun and moon shield, that's cool looking. Whoa, look at that shield. 
Oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> Give it the cost. Oh, it's worse than what he's using. Never mind. This is level five. Yeah, only 1600 more experience level five. Yeah, I just, I'm not a big fan of how grindy it becomes in Nightfall. Like, of course, in, if I think back to Prophecies, there's a lot of like, get, go out there, kill this many enemies, collect this many items, very traditional questing stuff. Um, but, but th they were always kind of optional. These almost feel... They almost feel necessary because of this ro level 5 roadblock and Sunspear Sun Spear points roadblock. Not a fan. I'm just not a fan of it. And if you think about all the roadblocks they put in, in Guild Wars 2, there's, there's a lot of that in the primary quest line. You have to be this level to do this. You have to be this level to do that. But then at the same time, they give you like ways to just just uh, use an item and it makes you level 80. So I don't know. Sounds like I'm complaining about a lot of stuff. I like it all, but I also I don't like it at the same time. <laughs> I'm impossible to please. I just feel like if you're going to have content that you want players to play through you don't you shouldn't have to force them to do it there should be some natural motivations by the quality of it or or by the geography of it or some more like attractive reward of doing it other than you have to do this you have no choice yeah, i picked that up because i'm gonna fight these plants again and i want to get more experience that way that way i guarantee i get level five after completing these quests I do like you don't have to do all of them. You just need to hit level five. So, you know, you it, it does give you the choice in the sense of you can choose which ones you want to do. That, that's a that's a bonus. It's a plus side. Fight this boss, and we should hit level five after this. Let me move. You need to make like one thing about Dervish. You need to make sure where you're located. So I was on that side of the enemy, and I was miss. I wasn't able to attack this guy. That's one of the benefits of the player character being the Dervish is you can you can make note of where your your positioning is and put yourself in the correct positions to do maximum damage. The uh, the. Uh, AI of heroes, I don't think they take that kind of stuff into it account. Okay, let's warp here. And then talk to these people. And then we are... Less than a thousand away 
on level five. I don't do it. Oh. Weapons. Let's go. Materials. No, nice. Oh, I don't have enough space. Let's sell some stuff really quick. I have no space. Wait, let's sell some stuff really quick. Ah. There we go. Go. Now we can get the rewards and we'll hit level five right now. Let's go ahead and pick up another. We're using Istani armor. Let's let's do Istani leggings now. Very nice. Okay, we're level five and we're also at Master Sergeant, so I can go get the 15 extra attribute points. So now it's time to get a secondary profession. And then we... I'm not going to show the command training since I did it as a Mesmer, but let me go ahead and warp here and do the get the 15 attribute points. And this will be the end of part one of our Dervish... Istan playthrough and again this this video or this this mini series is going to take us from the beginning of nightfall up to where uh we left off with our mesmer rogier and then i'm going to complete nightfall with my mesmer there we got 15 extra attribute points holy cow talk about a power spike this is crazy that's awesome. Does Koss also? He doesn't get it? Hmm. Very cool. And that is all of the mission, the quest that we have picked up. Now for this one, we need to get, for the next 15 attribute points, we need to get first spear. And that is quite a ways away. So for this one, we have to do secondary training. All right, so next episode, we'll start off by getting our secondary profession and then going to the next mission area since we're level five. So anyway, if you don't like this kind of stuff going back, it feels like you're going we're going backwards. Um, don't worry, I will be catching up with my Mesmer. I just want to show from a from a nostalgia point of view what it's like to play through as a brand new character in Istan. So stay tuned for the new next episodes of this series. And then if you're not into it, just wait around and then we'll, I'll be bringing back Rogier uh, from the, the mainland of Alona. So anyway, have a good one. Peace.